my youngest brother is younger than my eldest daughter. My brother Shlomo is 29. My daughter is 30. Go figure that one out. Yeah, and, exactly. And you, you want to get real? You want to hear a yeah. real mind? I nursed my brother. My unorthodox life star, Julia Hart, makes an alarming confession. These random strangers are going to know, like, the most intimate details of my life. Yeah, that continues to be true on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast, as Julia reveals she breastfed her younger brother per her mom's request. Now, at the time, she had just welcomed daughter Batsheva while her mother had given birth to Shlomo. My mother's like, oh, you're already nursing your daughter. Take this one, too. And so I ended up nursing my brother and my daughter. Yeah, now that's my <laughs> For him, I'm sure. I know, for I'm him, I don't that's a therapy. I mean, does he know now? <laughs> I'm sure he does not. Julia was part of a group within Orthodox Judaism that is in opposition to modern practices and values. And she compares that world to one where wet nurses existed. I always tell people I'm a time traveler. If you want to understand the world I lived in, go back to the 1800s. That's it. I lived in 18th century existence. So when did you start questioning it? Well, you know, I've been questioning it my entire life silently. Julia left the community in 2013 at the age of 42. Like, I was so clueless. I mean, I'd never been on a date that I chose. I'd never gone to a bar. I'd never been at a club. I had to walk outside and pretend to be a 21st century woman when I was actually had time traveled through a wormhole and was an 18th century woman pretending to know what the hell was going on. The women in our community are second class citizens. We only exist in relation to a man. Fast forward to 2021, Julia's post-Orthodox life was featured on Netflix reality series, My Unorthodox Life. Think about where we came from that we're sitting at this table. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when I first take off my wig, how like angry at me you were? Yeah. Once I felt strong enough, honestly, and confident enough in myself to be able to tell people about my past, I felt, I mean, it's frightening, let's be honest. I am literally standing, you know, metaphorically naked in front of the world because, I mean, Netflix is Netflix, right? And I mean, they've given me the greatest platform ever. Since then, the show's had two seasons, and Julia has released her first book, Brazen. If I made it less messy than it was, if I didn't tell about my mistakes and all my escapades, it would be wrong. Because then when someone else is going through their journey and they're struggling, they would look at my book and say, well, Julia had such a smooth path. It was so easy for her. Season three for My Unorthodox Life has yet to be announced, but no doubt Julia will continue to tell her story one way or another. I've learned in my life that every time I think to myself, okay, Julia, you're strong. You've fought, you've proven yourself. I feel like something comes along and says, no, you're not done yet. 